Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another We Don't Know What The Hell This Game Is. We tried asking and we got no response. Sent in by you, the fans, too. LifeSiglishTV at gmail.com. But it is a NordVPN cast, and that's why it's happening. Mr. Maximus Black. Yes. Hit me up with the sound of being able to eat sushi after not having it for a couple of weeks. Uh, I still haven't been, dude, I haven't had sushi in so long. The next time I have it, it's going to be a, like a life-changing experience. Yeah, it's been a while for me, too. It's been uh, probably about three weeks since I've had it, which for me, that's a long time. That's a long time. That is time. a long time for you. Yeah. It is. It is. Uh, it's just because I've had so much stomach issues over the last little bit that I've been uh, just eating very specific foods. I ain't been risking it for no biscuit. it. But uh, what the heck is this guy doing here? We don't know what this is. Again, we had three people this last week get NordVPN subscriptions and pass in replays to lifesaglitchtv at gmail.com. So this isn't our standard pickings. I'm just guaranteed casting these three. Uh, and we asked the gentleman, uh, which is this? Got no reply. So it's looking like a hybrid. We got a weird... What the? Double Nexus open? What? With a what? two pro what? brush? What? Hey, I'm here for what? it. I'm here for it. Okay. I'm All here right, for live it. Wraith, I see you. Are we going with a 14 Nexus? You imagine? He does it? I mean... I mean... I, listen. <laughs> Is there even 14 places to put a Nexus on this map? 1, 2, One, two 3, th 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You basically have to take everything, including the natural... Yeah. ...of blue. Yeah. Uh, but listen. The fact that we're even seeing two is insano. Um, he's not been, has he been, he hasn't been scouted yet by no. this barcode. No. And so the barcode has no idea what's going on. Uh, odd that the barcode has not scouted anything yet. Uh, he's trying now. He's going around now. Okay. He's looking for proxies. He brought two of the probes yeah. down, killed the SEV, and then recalled back the two probes. Uh, and is only building pylons. There's the first gateway. Okay, so we aren't going to see like 14 Nexi, but we are going to see three and a gateway. Still no gas up yet. Putting a cannon in the back for whatever reason, maybe for Widow Mine drops, putting another cannon here. I mean, we have ventured into the Twilight Zone, Adam. We are here now, and I'm just going to embrace it. Um, this is definitely the Twilight Zone. I mean, we are, I, I can't. Uh, the craziest part is, of course, is that just just like many of the games that we've had in the past with these kind of openings, for whatever reason, the opponent has managed to not scout it any yeah. other time. Yeah. This would have been just nightmare fuel for Live Wrath to try to actually pull off. But his opponent, I'm still confused about where his opponent's going. His opponent went down to check for proxies, but they check for proxies like crazy late. Then he was, now he's going top right. Yeah, he's, he's looking. He's taking the longest possible route to see what is going on. He is going to miss the fact that there is a third expansion. At best, he is going to notice that there is a single expansion. He's going to hit that cannon wall pretty quick when he eventually walks in there. Uh, but he's not really going to have a great idea of what's going on. So until he does something like, I don't know, drops units in, he's not really going to have any idea of what's truly happening. Meanwhile, Live Wraith, who has done this three base open, uh, this three Nexus open to start, is so slowly, or so slow to get this going. I mean, the problem is when you go three to start, saturating anything is just like impossible. You yeah. just, uh, it just, you, you can't do it. Yeah. So it's nice to have three, but it's not really doing any better than if you had just saturated two at this point in the game. So. I don't think that this is doing Live Wraith any favors yet, but it will likely make for a hell of an entertaining mid-game once Todd's barcode eventually figures out what's going on. Yeah, I think he's going to figure it out here pretty soon. Um, or at least the... I don't think he's going to scout this third. I mean, that is out of position. I'll be honest, I probably wouldn't even scout that. That's in a weird spot. Like, you'd scout here, preferably here, like, you know... Um, 
But I mean, even at the five minute mark, how many how many Protoss are getting three Nexus that quick? I mean, he's not even building probes off these things. Uh, we got a drop coming. The Marines are gonna pick up two freebie Zealots, or at least one there, and then the drop on top of it, two Siege Tanks. This could be trouble for live. Like, uh, he has no units. And yeah, he's got cannons, but these are siege tanks. And there is some freedom coming up. Oh, much freedom. Not as free, not as much freedom as coming up in the next patch. <laughs> no. But there is some freedom on the way. Uh, those uh, tanks going up in a real spicy spot. I like that. The, uh, the Liberator goes in to get into position at the front of the base. Get the vision, down it goes. And now these Marines, oh, they don't want to flirt that close with that cannon. Uh, but this is the uh, the beginning of of one of the more annoying things anyone can deal with, and that is the uh, forward position Terran, which again, will only get worse in this upcoming patch. Yeah, we have got uh, several missile turrets going up. I'm not sure why you need three of them, but he is putting down three nonetheless. Um, siege tanks really just need to start getting a little more aggressive. I mean, unsiege these, move these here, and start working your way in. Because at this point, you got to be thinking, what is my opponent doing? How is he going to get out of this? Typically, it's going to be a drop or a warp prism from the other side. And exactly that is about to happen. We do have a pylon down here. Uh, finally starting to use this base as well. Very smartly so. Uh, removed all of the probes off this because that base is as good as dead. But I mean, this is this is a hurting looking base here. We've got one guy that's going all in on a one base and the other dude doing the most fucky three base stuff that I've seen in a hot minute. Let's see how it pans out. Yeah. Well, I think how it's gonna pan out is uh, that barcode is going to slow walk into this base and basically just have his way with them because, I mean, really, even if these DTs get out, He's gonna like maybe he oh, maybe he overscans himself. I, That's possible. I don't know. It's possible. No That's about the only thing I can come up with here. No missile is, turrets. Is is a, a, a DT drop into uh, into into the uh, the Terrence base, or he just overscans, has no energy left, uh -oh. and eats it. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's gonna yeah, go. he's gonna have enough for maybe one scan, but this is this. This should be death for Protoss. I mean, he doesn't even have much over here. He just did, uh, or I guess recalled his army, which also, again, very smart play. Because that, that entire army would have died. I would have liked to have seen him recall all of the probes as well. Uh, because this is just going to die here. You're not really going to buy yourself any more time. So along with the units, recall these probes, put them there, uh, and then go and do an attack. And here we go. If he goes after the command center and he can kill this command center or force it to lift off at the bare minimal, there's the lift off. Now you want to do the warp cycle of DTs in your base. Now you want to warp them in here. Not here. There's no point to warp in DTs down here. This base is already dead. Warp them in here. Do them now and start killing the army. And then you have a small slither of hope. We have a large well, slither well. of hope. Now that the command center is going <laughs> to the corner of the map and you have nothing that can see cloak units except for these three missile turrets. Oh god, oh. there it is. Come on. There. Come on. Oh, Come this on. could be a hero. There we go. Oh, there you're going to see an obscene amount of kills on this one DT. This oh, is a train wreck and I'm here watching. SCVs on on auto oh. repair. That's not going to be oh. enough. There they all are. Oh. Uh, I would just be attacking anything and everything. Oh, they are going to at least move back to the turrets, which is smart. Watch he's gonna it. Lose it. He's going to lose oh. it. And it's dead. No heroes no. today. Uh, and you know what? As long as, as long as the Protoss is dumb enough to walk towards those turrets, the Terran has a chance. He's building energy in that, in that uh, floating command center, the orbital. And yep. so, as long as he can land and scan, he's still in an okay spot. This army can kill a lot of shit real quick. Uh, and uh, unfortunately for Live Wrath, he's not really got much going for him, except for the fact that 
Well, he's got a fair amount of minerals uh, that he could spend, and he's spent them all rebuilding at the base that I don't think Barcode is aware he has. Yeah. Uh, what? Uh, this is a good play here, and I cannot believe Terran is allowing him to do this. Please, bring your stuff down. You need to keep these turrets alive. He's got enough resources to build a command center. If he builds a command center right here, keeps the missile turrets alive, he basically instantly wins the game. He's got enough right now. 566 minerals. He has SCVs. Build a command center. Just build a command center. Please. Be because you may never be able to land this thing. Right? No. And look, the, the stalkers are going to keep an eye on this. He ain't going to let you land it. But what you can do is hold all of the majority of your units here, build a command center, start mining, get your orbital command, take the liberators and liberators only around the map to kill any bases. Because at this point, you got to realize that your opponent's got to have something else. Oh, like, how well. else did all of these units get out of the base? He had to recall out. <laughs> like, use your brain. Well, it he should, he should be able to think that. Or or even if it wasn't recall, you just see that many units, you go, okay. Somewhere. He's building somewhere. But he hasn't gotten that far yet, Mr. Black. He is too busy just floating in the top. I mean, he could land now if he wanted to. He could. Uh, the rest of those units have now gone back. Uh, this is just a series of weird choices being made by both players that is keeping this game going even longer than it needs, needs to go. To. Uh, these two liberators in this this Terran force is more than enough to get the job done, uh, but he does need to find Live Wraith uh, if he wants to be able to wrap this up. Because given a much more time, it won't be uh, it won't be likely uh, any longer. Is he really going to go back and defend so he can oh land? Oh God, unbelievable, dude. He's gonna he's gonna put his opponent back into this game. He had no business doing such. And look at this. Live now, taking the gold expansion. He's finally wow. scouted that out. Slow this down here. He's finally scouted that out. He still doesn't know this base exists. This was the first expansion. Still doesn't know it's it's there. Wow. Literally gone anywhere and done anything other than discover that bottom left corner of the map. Uh, and uh, it looks like that might actually be his downfall uh i mean as much as he's gonna be able to build up here there's yeah. just well, i mean i keep saying that but like fuck i mean this game has literally just been a series of back and forth like slap fights and then walking away from each other before finishing the game and i mean really i mean we, uh, I, <laughs> oh there it is now just he knows please, please. now oh, he knows fuck. finally he finally knows, but here's the sad part, Adam. He doesn't have the unit composition anymore to be running across the map against this army. This army will destroy. These have, these are charge lots. This army is going to wreck this army if he leaves this base and tries to go and kill this base. So now we've got gold, this, this, and this all happening while he is stuck right here and he had all the advantages in the world to win this game sooner and just like that he is starting to move out and he could find himself dead uh, even even if these siege tanks can get into position and siege the charge lots are going to rip through this army <laughs> <laughs> yep yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I want to see it. Oh, you're I'm gonna waiting. see it. I'm oh, over here. Oh, it's happening. Make it happen. Oh, it's gone. Show me something good. Here it is. There's the siege. Pretty please. Meanwhile, he's just gonna leave. No. No. You can kill Son all of, of this. Bitch! No, 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 no. Get back in there, you stupid asshole! Come Get back in there! What are you doing? There you, you go! Fool? There you go! Please! He's going from behind! The tanks are unseaged! Oh. The Marine, though, scouts it out! It's okay, just A move and win! You can do it! A move it! You can do it! Yeah! He <laughs> just. That wasn't even a fight! <laughs> what the fuck?
That wasn't even a fight. Oh, go end the game! Yo, it's ending this right now. This game is long over. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. This game was brought to you by NordVPN. If you guys are looking for a VPN subscription, think of us. Link is in the description below. And you, too, can send in extra long games that make absolutely no sense and have them rip the new asshole live on Lag TV. Thank you so very much. Hit the like button. Patreon.com slash Lag TV. Oh, for the love of God. Please. Please, I'm begging you. Oh god, that's a planetary. We could Please be here no. for a few. Oh no, 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 no. We could be here for a few. No, 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 no. Yes. Yes. Do it. Yes, do it. Join the dark side. Wow. Another planetary. Bro, get we're ready. watching this game fast forward and there's nothing to talk about. I know, I'm trying. I, you know, I'm, I'm doing it on the downtime we've, here. We've sped it up and there's still nothing happening. These but just to end the game. You have like 17 bases yep. to his one. Adam, the, I You I have will... 1,700 minerals and 800 gas, and yet you're still only 84 supply. I don't want to see this end until there's 14 Nexi out there, Adam. We called it out in the beginning. I want to see it end. At any amount of Nexi. <laughs> One Nexus, two Nexus, three Nexus, four, five, six, seven Nexus, eight Nexus. Fuck you! <laughs> you thought I was gonna rhyme, ninja. I thought nope. you were gonna say whore. I thought you were gonna say nope. whore. No, okay. I'm pulling the rug. You don't even deserve a rhyme mm. on this game. Mm. You got nothing. Good day, sir. For the love of God, there's another Dark Shrine. There's another shrine, baby. He's putting out another shrine. We are now 20 minutes into this video game that they call StarCraft II. And but oh, here we go. The DT. Oh. oh, that was a nice try. Well, he actually killed it. But still, he still has scans. Getting another Nexus. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven now. Second command center going up with the planetary fortress at him. Sit down. Get ready. We could be in for a doozy. Five, six, DT coming inside here. The siege tanks blowing up the mineral lines. And just like that, holding position, not allowing any more turrets to go down. Can't get too close to this one, though. There's the scan. The other DT destroyed. Wow. Another warp cycle. Here we go. I mean, at this point, he's getting close to a move territory again, and he's going to do that. Adam, this is where it gets exciting. Here we go. Oh, I'm excited, all right. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Not a Ric Flair. Woo! Just... No. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That's how this feels right now. <laughs> it's woo. Well, he broke the line. He's beaten one. He's now shooting at a repaired bunker. He's probably going to lose <laughs> all of these units. <laughs> and we are going to continue on <laughs> because there's another base <laughs> to the left of this one. <laughs> you <laughs> oh, my God. oh wow oh wow these are the types of games that'll make you go on a three-year starcraft no cast hiatus wow this is something why is he what he's putting in work at him what? leave him alone he's putting in work Oh, more planetaries, more, more tanks. Why Good is news. He building a In the next patch, those planetaries will be easier to destroy. Just, just, but they will be. All right, Coincidentally, here we go. not for stalkers. Speeding this up now. We are at four x speed. Four x speed. Twenty-four minutes 
into this game of StarCraft, and I can't tell who's going to win. I'm, and I'm... Nobody wins. We all lose today. <laughs> We're all holding the L today. And it's a long L. It's a uh, big, thick, veiny, girthy L. <laughs> Mr. Black uh, that has been in it without quitting it for mm. 25 minutes. Yes. Yes, it has. Terran now up to three bases, finally working his way in. This is a scary looking army, only three siege tanks there. He's trying to get in at the planetary, but there is walls everywhere and a random crab spider looking thing. The SCVs are pulled, trying to repair the bunker. Fuck the planetary. The rebunker needs to be repaired. It worked at the other the base. The <laughs> Yeah. This base is finally going down. We got an upgrade here in the fusion core, and I'll be honest, I have no idea what that is. Never seen it in my life. Because normally games don't last 27 minutes. What Again, is that? I mean, this all started from a barcoded Terran that flew his command center to the bottom right of the screen. He had the game in the bag, and he just may lose this. This is a scary army, even against planetary fortresses. There's enough immortals there to chunk down damage to the point where I don't think there's enough SCVs in the world that can repair it quick enough. I think we are finally beginning to see the end, Adam. Celebrate. Woo! <laughs> that might be the name of the cast. I might just woo. call it Woo. There it is, love. It's over. It's finally For the over. Love of God. It happened. There's the GG. Yes. The game ends. It's all over. And I don't even have anything else to say because we're burning into valuable time that we have to cast other games. Hit the like button. Subscribe. NordVPN. Patreon.com. Slash Lake TV. And any other sellers we have. Do the thing. GG!